हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर बिजी ट्यूटोरियल फ्रॉम बिफोर बायोलॉजीज फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट आर द एंटीजेनिक डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑन व्हिच इज फाउंड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द एंटीबॉडी फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक टॉक्ड अबाउट इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर अबाउट द एंटीबॉडी वेयर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो मेनी थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग द एंटीबॉडी now the point number 1 is that what is what are the antigenic determinant which is found on the antibody molecule what are the actual role of their anti uh, genetic determinant on the antibody molecule so without wasting of time let us understand what is actually antigenic determinants okay so let us move towards the next slide look at the slide friends uh, the topic which are going to cover in this lecture uh, point number 1 that is introduction of antigenic determinant on antibody we will try uh, in the point number 1 friends we will try to know the introductory part of the antigenic determinant on the antibody and point number 2 that is types of antigenic determinants and friends in the point number 2 we will try to know what are the types of antigenic determinants why i am going to categorize the antigenic determinants just because of some uh, some the uh, original issues okay friends now the first one is iso is isotypic determinant what are the isotypic determinant we will try to know allo type uh, determinant what are the actually allo type determinant and say uh, idiotypic determinant what are the idiotypic de de uh, determinant we will try to know basics of para group and epitope friends we will also try to uh, understand some uh, basic point regarding para groups and epitopes what are the para groups and what are the epitope we will briefly discuss about on that topic okay so these are the bas basic basic part which we are going to cover in this lecture okay these are the basically headlines of my lecture so i'm going to move to our the next slide friends look at this uh, slide you will be easily understand what are the antigenic determinant if you will read whole uh, whole summary of this uh, uh, slide so let us understand since antibody or the glycoprotein they can be themselves uh, function as a potent immunogen to induce immune response friends i have already told you that the antibodies or the glycoprotein why i am telling you that antibodies or the glycoprotein friends if you break this word then you will find that means glyco that is glucose and that is protein there are two word combination glycoprotein is basically a combination of the two word that means glyco that means glucose and plus protein so antibodies are formed by the two basic uh, Uh, bio molecule which is glucose and protein so they they can be themselves function as a potent immunogen to induce immune response okay friends antigenic determinant on antibody or also known as paratope friends what i am telling to you in this like in this point so i am telling you antibody having a particular site which having a potential to join the antigenic molecule so these are the site which are present on the antibody is called as antigenic determinant because they are determine the structure of antigen and having a potential to bind on them so this is the basic phenomena behind the antigenic determinant okay which is also known as paratope why i am telling you that paratope is known as antigenic determinant because it is present on the antibody molecule so take it friends look at this point uh, on the behalf of their location on the behalf of their location which is present on the antibody i am going to categorize on it in three major types first one is isotypic determinant second one is allotypic determinant and third one is idiotypic determinants okay now the point number 1 that is isotypic determinant what is isotypic determinant friends isotypic determinants determinant within the constant region of an antibody 
फ्रेंड्स दीज आर द बेसिकली पैराटोप विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द कॉन्स्टेंट रीजन ऑफ एन एंटीबॉडी मॉलिक्यूल इज नोन एज आइसोटीपी डिटोमिनेंट पॉइंट नंबर सेकेंड ऑल इंडिविजुअल ऑफ स्पीसीज है सेम आइसोटीपी डिटोमिनेंट बट द आइसोटीपी डिटोमिनेंट बिटवीन द डिफरेंट स्पीसीज इज नॉट सेम वट आई एम एक्चुअली कन्वे इन दिस पॉइंट नंबर सेकेंड दैट मीन्स ऑल इंडिविजुअल ऑफ स्पीसीज है सेम आइसोटिपिक डिटर्मिनेंट सो एंड बट द आइसोटिपिक डिटर्मिनेंट बिटवीन द डिफरेंट स्पीसीज इज नॉट सेम सो इट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड लुक एट दिस पॉइंट वॉट आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट आइसोटिपिक डिटर्मिनेंट आइसोटिपिक डिटर्मिनेंट मीन्स द पैराटोप पैराटोप मीन्स एंटीजेनिक बाइंडिंग साइट एंटीजेनिक बाइंडिंग साइट विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द एंटीबॉडी मॉलिक्यूल ऑन द कॉन्स्टेंट रीजन फ्रेंड्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट एंटीबॉडी मॉलिक्यूल हैविंग बेसिकली टू रीजन फर्स्ट वन इज द कॉन्स्टेंट रीजन एंड सेकेंड वन इज वेरिएबल रीजन सो इन दिस पॉइंट आइसो इन दिस आइसोटिपिक डिटर्मिनेंट सो द पैरट टूब्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द constant region of the antibody molecule so this is basically constant region and this is the variable region okay friends so you have we have to understand very very simply now the second one is allotypic determinant what are the allotypic determinants what are the allotypic determinant uh, it is the based on the genetic variations among the species it depends on the existence of the allelic form of the same gene friends what i'm telling you to in this lecture in this point it is based on the genetic variations uh, look it means allotypic determinants are the uh, based on the genetic variations it depends on the existence of allelic form of the same gene okay all the individual of species have the same set of genes coding for the isotypic determinants point number third but within the species multiple alleles exist for the certain isotypic genes consequently in the individual of a species have a dif different antigenic determinant called allotypic determinant uh, very very it is very simple for your understanding because i have already uh, written in a very very simple manner so student you can easily understand it okay so i am not going to make it very uh, extend because if i will extend i, I will expand on this topic the video will be too much Uh, large. Okay, friends. So I am going to move towards the next slides. Look at this allotypic determinant. They are basically allotypic determinant, and they are also having a potential to uh, present on the constant region of the antibody molecule. These are comes under the allotypic determinant. Now the last one is antigenic determinant of the variable region. Idiotypic determinant. What are the idiotypic determinant? Antigenic determinant of a variable region are known as uh, idiotype determinant or the idiotypes. Right? It, it is very simple. When the uh, when the antigenic determinant when the antigenic determinant on present on the variable region of the antibody molecule is termed as simply idiotypic determinant. Okay. so they, it is very very simple to understand what is idiotype what is allotype and what are the isotypic okay now the point number 1 the unique amino acid sequence of the variable region of a given antibody can be function not only as a an antigen binding site but also uh, as a set of antigen determinants okay uh, it is very very simple the sum of the individual idiotope of an antibody molecule is termed as the idiotype or the of the antibody the sum of the individual idiotype of an antibody molecule is termed as the idiotype of the antibody okay friends so you can easily uh, get it because it is really very very simple so basic uh, now the last topic is basic of epitopes and paratope what are the epitopes each specific subset of antigenic molecule recognized by the t uh, an antibody or the t cell receptor define an epitope epitope means the 
antibody determinants where antibody molecule are having a potential to join join uh, the epito uh, antigenic molecule is known as epito friends it is simply that the allocation where uh, allocation uh, of an anti antigen molecule where our antibody molecule can be bind of that particular foreign substance is termed as epito an epitope is also known as antigenic determinant i have already told you that an epitope is also known as antigenic determinant it is in, uh, it is the part of an antigen epitope is basically a part of suppose this is a epitope this is a antigen or antigen having a uh, antigen having a site where our antibody molecule can be bind and where our antibody molecule will be bind is termed as the epitope okay so epitope is the basically a part of our uh, of the antigen molecule a paratope is the region of of antibody that recognize and it bind to the epitope on the antigen friends it is very very simple to understand what is paratope and what is epitope paratope is basically a region where paratope is basically a part of our antibody and epitope is basically a part of the antigen paratope also having a bind binding site epitope having also a binding site so basically when an antigen or antibody molecule interact to each other with the help of their epitope and paratope paratopes and epitope are the site of an antibody or and antigen molecules where they can be interact to each other with the help of their binding sites okay friends so this is basically a conclusion part of my lecture so oh, uh, look at this structure epitope and this is the basically antigen 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 that means antigen having a site where uh, our antibody molecule will be bind is termed as epitope and paratope paratope is basically a part of our antibody and where antigenic molecule will be bind so this this is called as paratope okay friends so it is very very simple it is term it is also a very very specific reaction we can say that it is basically a follow it it, it follows uh, the lock and key model okay hope this video was very very useful for you and if you seems that this video is informative for you please uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you